ladies and gentlemen, this is Ted. Welcome again to Quickies. We are here tonight at the Plaza Theater. If you can see that, yes, the Plaza Theater, where they're doing a uh, premiere of the web series Stop Date. Speaking of which, I have with me today one of the one of the foes behind Stop Date, Mr. Michael Friedman. Hello. So, uh, Michael Friedman, what got you into film work in the first place? Uh, well, when I was in college, I was uh, writing for a local uh, student newspaper. We got a, a book to review based on, about screenwriting, and I started reading it, and I was like, hey, instead of reviewing movies, maybe I could uh, actually produce a movie as well. And uh, so I started writing, and I uh, started, uh, we founded the Atlanta Screenwriters Group. And uh, out of that, we started doing short films, and uh, I jumped fr from behind the camera to in front of the camera, doing acting and directing as well. So. Can I see you here okay? Yep. All right. All right. So would we find you on IMDb? Uh, yeah, I'm on IMDb uh, under Michael D. Friedman. The D is important, so make sure you okay. put that in. Right. So what do you prefer, theater or film work or both or what? Oh, well, I mainly do uh, film work. Uh, I've done a little bit of theater, um, but I prefer film work. Uh, theater to me is a lot of, there's a lot of work behind uh, doing theater. Oh, so <laughs> there's a lot of, we got to back up because the car's backing up. Um, down there. Uh, yeah, so uh, I've done a little bit of theater uh, as an actor. Um, it's a lot of work. You do a lot of, uh, you know, pre-production work. You have to do rehearsals uh, constantly. And then you, you do, the, you do the, 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 the stage play and then you're done. And you don't really have anything to show for it afterwards except for maybe a program. So I kind of like the film work better. You just have something that's lasting and lasts longer. So what's been your favorite project so far and why? Uh, my favorite project that I've done is probably called, uh, it's, a, it's a project uh, called Sales. It's a short film that I did for the 48 hour film project. Uh, it's, uh, it was uh, a small crew, just four people. Uh, I was one of the actors in it and the director and the writer. Uh, it turned out really well. It's one of the things I'm most uh, fond of. Uh, just it looks, it's one of the best looking things that I've done and uh, not a lot of people have seen it, but you can go check it out on YouTube. So what do you think of Atlanta becoming the next Hollywood? Well, I think it's great uh, that, that, you know, Hollywood's uh, focusing so much on Atlanta. Um, one of the things that, that's great about it is that a lot of the, the, the crew work, get, they get a lot of work, uh, a lot of experience working on uh, Hollywood film sets, and uh, it's, it's great for them. Uh, as far as, you know, uh, acting and writing, producing, you know, you don't get the benefit as much from the Hollywood productions coming in. But the, the crew members that you get to work with are that much more experienced and know how a Hollywood set runs, so it's really great for that. So what film project are you working on as of right now? Uh, well, right now uh, we are filming season four of The Lumber Baron. Uh, it's available on uh, online at lumberbaronseries.com. Um, I'm also here for the premiere of Stop Date. I was one of the writers on the first episode and uh, hopefully one of the writers of the staff going forward uh, if we get additional funding. So. What would you be doing right now if you were doing film work? Well, if I wasn't doing film work, uh, you know, I'd probably sit on the couch watching TV. <laughs> no, uh, you know, I, I work, uh, I work, I've got a day job and I, you know, I do web, web design. I do uh, a lot of work on uh, vi uh, the video side of things uh, for uh, major cable companies. So uh, that's what I would do. Uh, or play hockey, I'd play hockey too. So who are your Hollywood heroes? Uh, well, you know, one of my main inspirations was uh, Kevin Smith. Uh, seeing him do Clerks uh, back when I was first starting doing filmmaking, that was a real inspiration to me to see what somebody could do with no budget and uh, really produce a film that, you know, really caught on with the public. And it shows that, you know, you have to have a good story. Uh, uh, the story is the main part. It's not about high production values. Uh, it's more about you know, having a cohesive story, having a, a entertaining, funny story that connects with the audience. And, uh, you know, Kevin Smith was one of the main inspirations for me uh, when I was starting. Uh, his later stuff, I haven't had as much of an appeal for, but, uh, but yeah, currently, uh, you know, just to kick off my career, it was Kevin Smith. Mm -hmm. So anybody from Hollywood you'd like to work with in the future? Uh, I would love to work with Kevin Bacon. I actually have a script that I'm writing that actually has Kevin Bacon as a character. Um, it would be great if I could get him on board to play a bit, little bit part I have. Um, you know, if it's not him, then I can rewrite it for somebody else, but it would be great to have Kevin Bacon on board. So where do you see yourself years from now? What are your plans for the future? Oh, uh, well, my plans for the future is to, uh, to actually produce a feature film. Uh, I've done a lot of work in shorts. Uh, we did a feature film 
uh, several years ago called Return of the Jackalope, which, uh, which you were in, actually. I was in there, wow. <laughs> uh, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, but, you know, time commitments has, has really made it so that I have to do a lot of shorts more than anything. Um, but I really want to buckle down and uh, just, you know, spend a couple weeks and, and, and produce a feature. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that said, anything to leave us with? Any websites or future projects or such? Uh, well, you know, Lumber Baron uh, is, uh, like I said, we're kicking off a fourth season. LumberBaronTheSeries.com and go to YouTube, you can find it there. Uh, you can also go to uh, KingDanteProductions.com. Uh, uh, that's my production website and it links out to some of the YouTube videos that we have out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Michael D. Friedman. Yes. Michael D. Friedman. Thank you. This is Ted. This is Quickies. Have a good day. Bye-bye.